Hi everyone, it's Kay Pest here with Leaderboard. I'm co-owner and head roster at Java Roasters in Toronto, cool roster run on Girl Power. I've been in the coffee industry for the last 14 years, going through wholesale marketing, quality control, and finally uh, roasting. But I found my true passion in the sensory elements of coffee. The Cup Tasters Championship was always the competition uh, I wanted to try. Uh, first, I win in 2016 in Poland, and now I'm proud to be 2020 Canadian Cup Tasters Champion. I hope you are super excited as I am about the leaderboard. Today I will be your coach and I'm going to talk about how to identify coffee varieties or cultivars. So, coffee species Arabica, just like apples or grapes, has different varieties. They can be precisely described by a set of characteristics. It can be shape, it can be flavor, size, and so on, like with apples. Let's take Granny Smith. You know that. It's crisp, super crisp, it's tart, no sweet. Let's say Gala, what is super juicy, sweet, almost like pure taste. Or Red Delicious, look beautiful, but it's sometimes tasteless. So you can find it also with coffee varieties. So let me show you right now the beans and I explain you more. Here we have um, beans from Ethiopia. Ethiopia is uh, the birthplace of coffee, the only country where coffee is endemic. Uh, Ethiopian uh, coffee is grown at great altitude and uh, develops very complex acidity. They are flor floral and tea-like, uh, they are delicate. Um, natural processed coffees, which is here, um, tend to show intense and funky berry-like flavors, uh, whiny with full body. Um, the first two varietas, Typica, which is here, and Bourbon, are the parents of almost all the coffee varieties you will hear of. Typica, here, is known from her classic coffee taste with nutty flavor, and low acidity, bourbon has a lot of uh, sweetness, uh, is rich, fruity, sometimes a bit citrusy, and the rest of varieties are just natural mutations or hybrids of these two. So here, here we have uh, Mundo Novo, is from Brazil and is natural hybrid of Typica and Bourbon, uh, this too, is a sweet full, with full body and low acidity. Here we have uh, Pacamara, you can see a uh, really giant beans, uh, is also natural hybrid from El Salvador, uh, Pacas Bourbon and Maragogipa, uh, which is giant mutation of Typica with the giant beans. You can find uh, here uh, a bit of spiciness and uh, sweet taste. Um, here we have uh, Katura. This is a natural mutation of Bourbon and it was discovered in Brazil. Um, is bright with bright acidity, a lot of sweetness and medium body. And the last but not least is a Katuai. It's a natural hybrid of Mundo Novo and Katura and has also a lot of sweetness with chocolate, caramel and nutty flavors and, and rather low acidity. Now it's time to taste and compare. 
remember to take a bunch of notes you can change your mind several times during cupping and it's totally normal test as much coffees as you can and try to link the taste the flavor with the variety it will help you to learn a lot about the different characteristics try even the weird and the nasty ones it can be fun <laughs> try to focus on your sensory in general not only with the coffee then you will discover many incredible things so if you have any more questions you can always reach me on my instagram is k coffee and art so are you ready to play good luck with leaderboard